All right, welcome back to how to build an F-14 Tomcat. So last night I finished up doing the bottom of the canopy, half of the nose cone, and then the windscreen vacuum form plug. So those are done. They're uh, wait, they're pretty much cured now. It's been about oh, about 15 hours or so. I didn't get done until about one o'clock this morning with those three. And uh, the wife came out here to visit while I did them. So that's why I didn't start the video back up at the last little bit. Um, you can see the white shelving board here, and I've got one of the I've got the left flap in. So that parting plane has already been cut out and whatnot. I did a, a little bit different. I used a different blade on this one. It actually let me get a much nicer cut. And uh, what it is, it's just these Vermont American from Home Depot, and they've got a blade. That is a reverse cut. So I just used that one. It is number 30018. And it is 12 teeth per inch. And it actually did a really nice job. The It didn't peel off the the white, you know, I guess the, the smooth white finish that it has on here. And it actually got a really, really tight fit against the whole flap to wear. It'll take a very minimal amount of filling around it. So since it's such a minimal amount, I'm just going to use clay on this one instead of going through the, the hassle of getting uh, body filler and all in there. So this flap's ready to have uh, the clay put down in there. We'll get to that momentarily. I got about six projects at once going on today. Not only am I doing this stuff, I'm also painting a new spinner for my fuck wolf and doing yard work for the wife. So um, while we, now that we got that done, I guess we will go ahead and start uh, popping this canopy mold apart. Again, there are no uh, locating dowels on these end pieces of the mold. When I laid this up, I made sure I got a lot of the, the fiberglass to hang over the edge. So I can take the, the flat end of this body hammer and just go down along the edge of it to help pop it loose. And there we have the bottom portion of it. And the little trick I told you, 
showed you guys about the leaving a little bit of a gap you can see here we have a nice little uniform edge all the way around the part on this part of the mold that would give a nice uh, now when we lay up the lay up the cloth we have a nice even area where we can trim the, the cloth onto it so I'll put that to the side for now and we'll see if we can't get the actual canopy out of this thing it may prove a little difficult basically what I'm going to do is just kind of push down in the corners to get the PVA to let loose and I may actually have to take it up to the garage and uh, get some compressed air in there to get it to let loose completely possibly trick a little bit of water down in there as well. And in a last resort, I can always trim the flanges a little bit smaller. So we'll put that one aside since it's being a little difficult. I'll take it up to the garage and use some compressed air on it. Should pop right out. Now we'll go over here to the can for the nose cone mold. A guy uh, sent me a message here on YouTube and gave me a little. It's one of those tips that is so simple you wonder why you didn't think of it to begin with and uh, basically he said instead of putting hot glue directly on the part put some blue masking tape tape down for the hot glue to, to attach to and that'll make getting the, the tape off a lot easier again it's one of those tricks where it's so stupid and simple then you wonder why you didn't think of it to begin with Cut through the hot glue that's here, holding this vertical parting point on this nose cone. Again, down here at the base of it. And there we have our second nose cone, or the first half of the nose cone mold. A little bit of rework to do because the hot glue pulled the paint off, but wish I would have been told or thought of that trick earlier. <laughs> a little bit of paint and body filler won't fix. And then we'll just take our screwdriver and go down through here and clean all this clay out of it.
there's that little bit. The uh, well, I guess we can pop the windscreen mold out as well. I can always pop it back in. And you actually, you can see this thing's pretty dang thick. So I made made it as thick as well, pretty dang thick. That way, I don't have to worry about it collapsing. It is about three sixteenths of an inch thick. And that was easy enough. So there's the windscreen vacuum form plug. Um, I'm actually, I'm not gonna be doing the vacuum forming on this thing. I'm going to get this really, really shiny smooth and polished down and I'm actually gonna outsource the, the vacuum form parts. That's kind of a, an art form in itself. So I'm gonna leave it to somebody who's who does it for a living to basically let them do it. That way I get perfect parts every time instead of the uh, trying to explain to the wife why I'm melting plastic in our oven. And it just pops right back in place. So there's that. I'm going to go up to the garage and get that canopy mold out, hopefully. And uh, the good thing is now that it's there, if I have to make a new one, I've got a mold to make a new one. So um, anyway, I'm going to do that, clean up this uh, nose cone get it or that glue pulled the paint off get that ready to go again and uh, to get ready to start molding I'll pop up the video camera and we'll start another video so y'all have a good afternoon